This video is going to be on the adjustment of the level of the printer head. I already have the printer cover off. I've already unplugged the printer. I have a Phillips screwdriver and you see there is this little lever here and it's held me with this Phillips screw. So I'm going to loosen that screw here. You also notice that <clears throat> the lever itself is marked in the original position. If you lower that bar, if you lower this bar, what's going to happen is it will lower the height of the printer head itself. If you raise it up, it raises the height of the printer head when it's in the lock position over the capping station. So what we're trying to do is reduce them or reduce the amount of tension that the printer head has when it's on the lock position over the capping station. So what we're going to do is slowly actually raise it up here. I would raise it up maybe about half but it looks like one two three four f like five slots and then screw it back into place now what you also want to test for is that the printer still has a vacuum seal meaning from the lower capping station you're going to open up this side panel here and you're going to check by connecting a syringe to the waste tube with the printer head parked over top uh, once you power the printer back on that one you see ink flowing two when you pull with the syringe you want to see that there's a vacuum seal meaning when you pull that there is no air coming through on the syringe if there is air then you've raised this too far high too too far up so you're going to have to lower it down just a few uh, notches and then try pulling on the capping on the waste tube again for that vacuum seal what's important is that vacuum seal